Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to install or set up FTP server using Windows 7. In this demo, we'll be learning how to install FTP feature in Windows 7 Professional, and we'll be enabling that feature. Number two, how to configure FTP server. Once we enable the feature, we'll configure FTP server. And number three, how to create FTP users. You do need to create users to access your FTP. Uh, number four, how to authenticate FTP users to access FTP uh, server data, whether you wanted to give read access or read write access, that needs to be done as well. Uh, number five, how to use port other than 21. Keep in mind, 21 is default po port of FTP. And in this demo, we'll be using other than 21. Uh, one reason that I'm doing this because my ISP uh, provider has blocked this uh, port. So uh, number six, how to test FTP functionality internally. Uh, this we will be doing this in this demo. Uh, number seven, however, I don't have a, really a way to uh, put that in video how to test uh, um, FTP functionality externally. But here are the um, steps that I have put that. If you're testing it at home, what do you need to do? Go in your router setting and click on. Um, port forwarding and once you do that you need to click on application FTP application uh, it depends on your router but uh, you need to open uh, 21 or what, whatever the port you use here and the host server IP address whatever whatever the server where you installed FTP that IP address needs to be there and your router needs to uh, configured to allow traffic uh, from external uh, vendors into your home network and number two, use Internet Explorer or command line to test FTP functionality externally. And these are the steps. You can click run and this is CMD. Explorer is pretty easy. You can uh, open the Explorer and type FTP uh, colon backslash backslash forward slash forward slash um, IP address and then colon your um, uh, port number that you used here. And it will ask you your username and password. Uh, once you put username and password, you should be able to access uh, FTP um, data. And up here, um, this is CMD right here. Uh, you need to um, go run, type FTP, and then it'll open FTP interface for you. And you need to uh, right here type F open, and FTP host IP address would be the IP address where you set up your FTP address. Um, FTP server and port number whatever the port number you used here and then click enter and then you can use ls command the list command to view uh, whatever um, the data is in FTP server file system so these are the steps we will be performing let's go ahead and start installing uh, FTP feature in Windows 7 professional so here's my server this is my Windows 7 uh, server let me show you real quick as you can see it's Windows 7 professional so in order to add FTP feature we need to click on start go to control panel and click on programs right here and then uh, after programs you will see programs and features turn Windows features on or off click on that and it'll give you the list of already installed features and the install uh, the feature that has not been installed So for FTP, we need to go to IIS right here, Internet Information Services. You need to expand that and you will see FTP, expand FTP. We do need both of these roles right here. So select the whole IP suite, um, FTP suite, and then we need this WW Web Services. So we're going to go ahead and click all of them. If you expand that, it should select all everything. So it's better to be safe right here to just select all the web services so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and it's gonna take a little while to um, add all those features and if it is required after installing these features to restart your computer you can go ahead and restart your computer
All right, let's see that uh, if everything is installed. The feature that we installed on this uh, FTP server, in my case is TBS user, is uh, FTP uh, server and also IIS services. So let's go ahead and click start and click on IIS. So you need to click on up here, Internet Information Service Manager. And up here, it'll bring all the sites that if you have already sites created, you can see it, you can view it right here. Right now, there is no site, it's just a default website. This is where we'll be adding FTP site. So before we do that, there are a couple things needs to be done. One is that we need to create a folder where we'll be putting FTP data, and other is create users uh, to give access to that folder so that when they log into our FTP, they can see the data. So let's go ahead and um, let me show you, I have already created the folder, but uh, let me show you where I created the folder. Right here, I have created the folder called FTP data. And let's go ahead and create user. Right click on computer, go to manage, and go to local users and groups, and click on users. I'm going to go ahead and create new user called FTP user. And I'm going to go ahead and uncheck, uncheck this, and user cannot change the password, and password will never expire. So right here, I'm going to give password. So let's go ahead and click Create. The user is created right here. Now this user needs to have permission to view the folder that we just created. So let's go ahead and look at the folder again. Go right click on the folder, go to properties and click on security, click on add it and click on add. And up here we need to find in the location with this is local user for this computer. So that's why I'm selecting just TBS user. So let's look at FTP user check name here is FTP user click OK and allow read execute and this access to this folder so click apply OK click OK again now we're ready to go ahead and add FTP site all you need to do is open your Internet Information Services Manager and click on site right click on the site and click on add FTP site here is the name that you wanted to give to your FTP site so in my case I'll be giving tech brothers FTP this is my FTP site name and this is the physical path we just created the folder for the FTP data so let's go ahead and point that FTP data click OK and click next right here is the port you need to click on IP addresses right here and choose the IP address of this server in my case it's 192.168.129 and up here is the by default port of FTP I am going to use this port in my case is blocked by my ISP provider so I'm going to change it to 192 this is the port I'll be using to connect to my FTP for demo purposes, I'm going to go ahead and click no SSL required because uh, in production you don't want to choose this. You do want required SSL because that is more secure, but this is just a demo. I'm going to go ahead and click on no SSL right here and click next. Up here, authentication. You do want your users to put password when they try to connect to your FTP. So we're going to use basic authentication. We are not going to use anonymous. So allow user access. Here are the users that you need to select. I'm going to go ahead and select specific, specified users. And I'm going to go ahead and put FTP, FTP user. And I'm going to give read access to that user. Click Finish. And expand sites. Go to your newly created site right here look at the authentication right now as we did basic authentication is enabled and anonymous authentication is disabled which is good so click on the site again click on FTP authorization 
and right now we just added one user FTP user and give read access let's go ahead and add another user you need to click right click and click on allow add allow rule so we're gonna go ahead and right here type another user in my case it's gonna be tech brothers backslash cluster admin and I want to give read write access or you can basically do this as well I do have cluster admin local user so I'm going to add that as well alright our users are set up correctly let's click on binding right here if you click on edit this is the IP address type is FTP and port is 192 now if you have a DNS entry to point to this server you can put a host name uh, of your DNS right here I'm not going to do that I'm gonna go ahead and click OK close and the setup basically for FTP is completed we're going to go ahead and um, you can go ahead also it's a good idea to restart your FTP site so I'm going to go ahead and restart FTP site just so that you won't run into any issues so let's go ahead and test our FTP site internally you need to click on Internet Explorer right here so let's go ahead FTP and put the IP address in my case is 29 and let's go ahead and put the port number 192 and it's asking us the FTP user so let's go ahead and put cluster admin type the password as you can see that I have created a text file and this user can go ahead and look at the text file and it says hello world right here so our FTP is working internally let me show you um, from my other server that how you can basically connect um, using external so keep in mind that uh, if I show let me show you right here these steps needs to be completed if you wanted to access your FTP uh, externally I don't have a way right now to show you that uh, how to uh, do the router I am connected uh, with wireless not uh, the wired connection um, I might put another part of this video and show you that I can access externally so basically what you need to do right here I'm going to go ahead and click CMD and right now my user is Raza so um, one thing that I wanted to make sure that um, this this is kinda external but I am still in the same network I am connected with my router right here uh, using the same um, wireless connection so it's still kinda internal but uh, this is not the same server so we're going to go ahead and close this and I'm going to right click and go to CMD and let's telnet to that server and see if uh, we are blocked with the um, with firewall uh, of this server you do want to make sure that firewall allow that setting and we will look at the setting just in a minute so let's first check and 192 is the port as you can see that it has pointed us to FTP service so that's good we're not blocked in case you're blocked let's go back and find firewall and click on inbound rule if you scroll down to FTP it should right here is FTP it says that FTP 21 is not allowed you need to create a rule up here that it should allow FTP server so we're gonna go ahead enable this rule we're gonna go ahead enable this rule all FTP related rules we're gonna go ahead and enable that and we do wanna make sure 
that um, our port uh, 192 is enabled so you can go ahead and create a new rule up here and it's going to be a specific port or you can click on custom custom all programs protocol TCP and all ports and up here any IP address or any IP address right here allow connection domain private public and you can put the name of here but I, I just wanted you to uh, look at how to create the rules but we're gonna go ahead and select specific port because that port we do want enabled TCP that's going to be TCP port and does this rule apply to all local ports or specified local ports so this would be 192 this is specified so click next allow connections on this that that is correct domain private and public that's correct and name this rule FTP user defined port click finish and this rule is enabled so we're set with our um, firewall setting so let me go ahead and click on start run and put FTP right here it'll open FTP as I mentioned right here so what we're going to do is open 192.168.1 and 29 this is the host IP address where we just enabled the FTP we configured the IP um, FTP 192 is the port so it's asking username let's go ahead and put cluster admin right here password user logged in as you can see if you do ls it shows that text file we can read the text file right here and let me show you go back and see that uh, if this is, this is the text file let's go click on computer d ftp data and this is the text file so our connection um, is working this is again still internally um, you you will use the same step on any other computer from external computer and try to access your FTP and please if uh, you run into any issues accessing your FTP externally leave it in comments and I will uh, we will try to resolve it together if there is any issue and I hope this demo helps